Elon Musk. This is the most hearing name from the past several years. Being a billionaire and the richest person in the world, he started SpaceX to build a city in Mars. He started the boring company to build an underground tunnel to change the way we travel today. He brought Tesla to implement the self-driving cars. And whatever Elon's company you choose, it will be like world-changing projects. But what happened to one of the Elon's startup, Neuralink? Neuralink's vision is to convert humans into superhumans by inserting a computer chip in a human brain. If this Neuralink's vision is completely implemented and become live, then many unimaginable things will happen. Let's discuss few outcomes of Neuralink. Welcome to the most underrated channel in the YouTube. Suppose you went on a trip to Germany, but you do not know the German language. In this case, you can simply download the German language into your brain with this neural chip and talk in German. This is as simple as you download songs from the browser. It takes us almost 15 to 17 years to complete our education starting from nursery to undergraduation, right? But if this neural link is fully implemented, you do not need to buy hard the things to remember the subjects. You can download all the engineering or doctor courses to the neural chip. You can in fact choose two to three professions at a time and be professional in all of them. And suppose you are having a nice dream in the last night and you forgot the dream you had when you woke up. Then you can download the dream and rewatch it. There are so many amazing results expected from this new running. Let's discuss the pros and cons of this new running. Alright, what is Neuralink? Neuralink is a brain machine interface, also known as BMI, that connects our brain to a computer. Elon Musk has started this company in 2016, and the main vision of this Neuralink is to install a wireless BMI in the most complex organ of a human body, the brain. Elon Musk's short term goal was to set a cure for neurological disorder. But Musk also had a long term goal, we should know about it in this video shortly. Before that, let's learn how is this chip inserted into the human brain. This small chip you're seeing here, this will be inserted into the brain. This chip has very tiny flexible threads, also known as fibers. Comparatively, the thread size is one tenth of a normal hair follicle, which is almost equal to the size of neurons in our brain. The thinner the threads are, the safer the chip is. This is because a human brain have very thin blood vessels and while inserting this chip, if the thread pierces and damages the blood vessels, it can lead to a brain stroke or even coma. Therefore, it's very difficult for humans to insert such a thin and flexible threads into the brain without damaging the blood vessels. And that's why Neuralink has developed an automated robot. In just one hour, this robot inserts the threads into the brain and installs the chips very easily. And also, there is no need for a large incision in the head. It only requires a small area of 8 mm, which is even smaller than a centimeter, to place the chip between the brain and the skull. This chip charges through wireless charging. Once fully charged, the charging will last for an entire day. And the best part is the process is also reversible, meaning if you no longer want the chip after it has been inserted, it can be removed. Similarly, just like a phone receives updates every few years, this chip can also be replaced or updated. Now let's see how does this Neuralink actually works. Our brain contains billions of neurons. Whether we need to see, speak, move or do any task, electrical signals are transferred from one neuron to another neuron in the brain. When these electric signals fire between neurons, an electromagnetic field is created. As I mentioned earlier, the Neuralink have threads and these threads are connected to the neurons in the brain. The neural chip now detects the electric signals using the electromagnetic field and send them to the chip and the chip converts them to the binary code that computers can understand. Similarly, the vice versa. I mean, if we send any information from outside, the chip converts it from binary into electric signals and delivers them to the neurons in the brain. All this information is transferred via Bluetooth. This is because the chip has no wires at all. And if there were wires, then at the place of contact for wire and skin, bacteria could enter through the opening and cause brain infections. So therefore, all the data is sent to a mobile device through Bluetooth. The chip is also charged wirelessly using electromagnetic induction. Normally, when neurons in a specific area of the brain stop functioning properly or fail to send signals, the associated organs stop working. There are so many people who, due to paralysis, can't move their hands or legs, or due to head injuries, have lost their ability to see, hear or speak. 
For all these people, Neuralink can send signals directly to the neurons from outside, helping those organs to function properly again. So for those who are blind, let's say, a small external camera can be connected to the Neuralink, allowing them to see just like us. See how beautiful this is. For those without arms or legs, robotic limbs can be attached and controlled simply through their thoughts. Not only that, many people in the world suffer from problems like memory loss, paralysis, depression, insomnia, seizures, addiction and brain damage. All these neurological disorders can potentially be treated with Neuralink. However, all these were Elon Musk's short-term goals, but the Musk's ultimate goal was to convert normal humans to superhumans. This is because Elon Musk always had a strong gut feeling that AI from any corner is very harmful for humans. By chance, if AI is fully implemented and being controlled, then there is a possibility for AI to make humans as the slaves. So, to fight back with the AI, the human intelligence is not a match. Hence, there is a necessary for humans to become superhumans at any cost. But seriously, we can't even imagine what it would be like if Neuralink reaches its full potential. Since our brain will be fully connected to the internet, we could easily download any skill we need. For example, if you want to play the piano but don't have even the basic knowledge, you can simply download the skills and start playing the piano very easily and effortlessly. Similarly, right now we provide input to computers or phones by typing or by using voice commands through Google Assistant, Siri or Alexa, right? All these methods are quite slow, but with Neuralink, none of this would be necessary. You could give inputs with just your thoughts. In the future, everything in our homes will be connected to the internet through IoT. IoT means Internet of Things. Okay, so if you think about a coffee the moment you wake up, by the time you walk to the kitchen, the coffee machine will have prepared it for you. And more importantly, there is telepathy. So telepathy means communicating directly with someone somewhere in the world just through thoughts, without any device like phones, etc. With Neuralink, this telepathy would also become possible. Since all our brains should be connected to the internet, you could directly connect and talk to whoever you want. Similarly, all the data in your brain can be downloaded to your computer and unnecessary or distressing thoughts can be deleted. There is no limit to what could be achieved if we start exploring all the possibilities. However, along with the benefits of Neuralink, there are also some potential risks. Since our brain will be connected to the internet, our thoughts and personal information would need to have strong privacy protections. Someone could potentially hack the chip in our brain and steal sensitive information like account passwords or even delete data. Companies could manipulate our brains to release dopamine whenever we see their brand, making us feel positive about it and encouraging us to buy their products. Right now, ads are shown on billboards, websites and TV. But in the future, we might see advertisements directly in our minds. Therefore, the technology we are talking about must come with very strong authentication methods and security measures. Finally, after years of experiments on animals and with the positive results, on 2023 May, the Food and Drug Administration FDA, approved Elon Musk's neural link for human trials. I will now show you what incredible tweet from Elon Musk. See this. This man really wants to go back into the past and change the things. This is really incredible. On Jan 30, 2024, Elon Musk announced that the first time his company Neuralink has implanted a brain chip in human brain. Musk said the person is recovering well and the initial results show promising neuron spike detection. Now the main and final question is, is this all really possible? It might seem impossible to the common person like us, but the neuroscience community believes it is achievable. After all, the technology we currently have was considered impossible just a few years ago. Now, today, this is all reality, isn't it? Automated self-driving cars are already here and in use. The CRISPR technology which can edit DNA which is invisible to the human eye has arrived. And we are even able to send the satellites beyond the solar system. Humanity has already proven that many things are possible and Neuralink is just one more step forward. It started a few years ago and still has a long way to develop. So, do you believe this Neuralink technology will fully implement in future? Comment on your opinions. Also comment if there will be an advanced technology or a technology that remains threats and risks.